All right. Um, we are really building a breakout game, but up to now we haven't really had bricks. And each time that the ball hits the brick, it's supposed to destroy and probably get out of something. So let's head back to our frame editor. And I'm going to go down in my objects here again and I'm going to look for something called milk. I'm going to select this and put it up right here, or to this area here. Now I may need several of these objects here as well, so I'm going to right click and see if I have an option called duplicate. So I'm going to click duplicate and I'm going to see how much rows I want. I think rows is coming down, no columns is coming down and rows is going across, right fine. I think I want about six, let me see about six columns. And I probably might want about let me try about ten rows. I mean I could always come back in here and append it afterwards. Well this is a little bit. So I'm gonna go to edit and undo and I'm gonna right click now and duplicate and I know I will take six columns. And how many rows do you think I would need? Hmm. I don't want to be check guessing all the time, so I will think I will have, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all right, I'll try 12 rows. Alright, let's try it to see, click OK. Hmm, I think my maths is off. I think I have it all wrong. Oh my goodness, imagine I teach Excel and I still have this wrong. So I'm going to put... 12 columns here instead, but 6 rows. Right, that more look like it. Oh yes, I don't know how come I'm so clumsy in terms of not even remembering how to do certain stuff. Right, cool, so let's kind of like put this more into the center here to drag and drop this thing here. Right, let me save this and head back into my event editor because I want the ball to collide. <coughs> on these milk blocks. I'm going to click a new condition and I'm going to click ball. And I'm going to have a collision with another object. And I'm going to have it collided with the milk. Right. Now every time I'm going to copy this because I want this ball object here. Every time it bounces here I want something to happen to this milk. So every time the ball bounces on this milk I'm going to right click and I'm going to look for the option destroy. And then I want a song when this takes place too. So I'm going to click on song, go to sample song, play song, and I'm going to browse and select the option impact. And click play, oh, sound good. Click open. And I'm going to save. Let me run this program and see how it looks so far. Run. Whoa. Oh my goodness, Andrew, you just hot. You just real hot. I'm telling you. This is looking real good. What is this? Escape, you know. So, so far we have just built our charcoal brick game. We have done so many things with it. We have added bricks, we have added a player, and so on. And now, on our next tutorial, we're going to add scores and lives.